Welcome back to this video tutorial. We can discuss about array of pointers in this video. In our previous video, we have already discussed about a pointer using for accessing array elements in which we have declared one pointer that pointer is initialized with the starting address of our array and by incrementing the pointer we can access each and every elements of our given array now here it is the concept of array of pointers that means array with n number of pointer type variables that can store the address of different other variables here we can use an array of pointer type variables and these pointer type variables are used for storing the address of different set of variables. So from one example it will become more clear. So here we have one integer array A with three different integers like 10, 100 and 200. Right and also here we have one more array. Here it is an array with three integer type pointers so ptr is a pointer type array or array of pointers right with three locations or size is three that means it can store the address of three integer variables from this it is clear that ptr is a pointer array with size three pointer array of type integer so these pointer can store address of three integer variables okay so the, this is the meaning of this particular declaration ptr of three that is int star ptr of three ptr is a integer pointer array and it can store the address of three different integer variables right so this is the case of initialization. PTR of i is initialized with address of integer values or integer variables. Here the address of different array locations are used for initializing various uh, location of our pointer type array. Okay, PTR of 0, the 0th location of our pointer array is initialized with the 0th elements address of our array A. That is, the address of this 10 is stored here in this PTR of 0. And PTR of 1 is initialized with address of this particular value or address to which this value is present. And PTR of 2 is initialized with the address of memory in which this particular value is available okay so consider this initialization a is the array and a of 0 is pointing to address location suppose the address location 1000 is pointed by this a of 0 and a of 1 pointing to this particular location 10004 and a of 2 is pointing to 10008 okay so the, using these locations consecutive bytes we can store the values 10 100 and 200 respectively that means four consecutive bytes are used for storing this a of 0 10 here and next four consecutive bytes are used for storing 100 here and next two sorry next four consecutive bytes are used for storing 200 here because in modern processors, integer values are used uh, a minimum of 4 consecutive bytes as a storage space. Okay. So, here it represents like this. This is just an example. Okay. So, after that, this is the case of our pointer array declaration. PTR. Okay. PTR 0 is pointing to location 200. 2000 and is used here for storing the address of a of 0 and ptr1 is pointing to location 2004 and this location is used for storing the address of a of 1 and ptr2 is pointing to address location 2008 this location is used for storing the address of a of 2 
right so when executing this particular loop what happened this address of ao0 is 1000 or 1000 which is stored here in this particular location that means PTR of 0 is initialized with AO address of A of 0. And next, this PTR of 1 is initialized with address of A of 1. That is 1004. And this PTR of 2 is initialized with address of A of 2. That is this 1008 now. Okay. And using this particular loop. And here it display the value star of ptr of i that means it display the value present at this location this location and this location one after another so while executing this what will display it will display 10 first 100 next 200 next okay so this is the case of uh, using array of pointers for pointing the address of a set of variables okay now we can consider the program so this is the same program okay a array with three different value and the pointer array with size 3 and its locations are initialized with the address of array elements and using this star representation we can display the values of this array that means address of different array elements are available in this ptr array now and this star of PTR I means value available in that location of this array. Okay. So while displaying this, it will display like this value of variable of 0 equal to 10, variable of 1 equal to 200, variable of 2 equal to 200. That is variable of A of 0 equal to 10, A of 1 equal to 100, A of 2 equal to 200. Here it is displayed with the help of our pointer array. Okay. So this is the case of array of pointers. Thank you.